So now let us discuss the word elements in more detail. Like the first one that we'll start with is the word root. Okay, so the word root, remember that in the previous video I said the word root, right? So the word root is the fundamental part of the word, right? So, or the fundamental part of the term. So it's the core of the term and it gives it meaning, right? So this is the core of the term, right? It's the core of the medical term, which conveys meaning. And the other thing you have to know is uh, there are terms that do not have, or rather there are terms that can have more than one word root, right? So it doesn't mean that uh, by word root, we mean that it has to be one. So there are terms with uh, one word root and there are terms with uh, two word root, okay? So terms may have more than one word root. An example of such a term, okay, let's take an example. So an example of such a term is osteoarthritis. Okay, osteoarthritis, okay, meaning inflammation of uh, the joint and bone. So osteo meaning bone, arthro meaning joint, right? So this is a word root and this is another word root, right? And then um, you will understand this once we uh, go on to discuss word formation. But for now, just know that osteo is a word root, athro is also a word root, itis is the suffix. And then third, third thing you have to know about word roots is they are derived. So they are derived. They are derived from two languages, Greek and Latin. Right, so derived from Greek and Latin. You will see as you study that mostly Greek terms refer to diseases, conditions, and treatments. So diseases, conditions, and treatments. Right, so most Greek terms, not always, but most of the time, this is how it is. And then the Latin counterparts usually name structures, right? So this would be anatomical structures. So there are terms, number four is that there are terms without word roots, right? So there are terms without word roots. Okay. And as we go on, you also realize that there are terms without prefixes. So the only mandatory part of uh, a medical term that should be there all the time is the suffix, right? Some words don't have word roots. Some words don't have uh, prefixes. So an example of such a word that doesn't have word roots is a word like hypertrophy or hypertrophy. Um, hyper means excessive. And then trophy growth. So this is excessive uh, growth. So hyper is a prefix and then trophy is a suffix, right? So you can see that we don't have a word root there. So the next word element that we'll discuss is the combining vowel. So combining vowel. So what a combining vowel is, obviously it's a vowel. And remember I said what it does is it connects, right? So there are different types of, there are many vowels, but the most common ones that you will see are O and I, right? So these are the most common ones that, that, that you'll see being used. You may, as you read textbooks or you search the internet, find words with different vowels, but by far the most common ones are O and I, okay? so. What do they do? They connect to, so they connect and they connect to 
word roots so they connect to a word root to a word root right so a word root to a, another word root right they also connect a word root to a suffix Okay, so those are the two functions of a combining vowel, right? So word root to word root, like we are seeing here for osteoarthritis, and then word root to a suffix. The next thing that they do is that they help with pronunciation, right? So it's usually you'll see that it's very difficult to pronounce a word root on its own, and when you add in a combining vowel, it becomes easier for the word root to be pronounced, right? So it helps with pronunciation of word roots. Pronunciation. Okay, so as an example, let's take a word root like gastro or gastro. So without the combining vowel, the word root is gastro. Right, so you can see that it's very difficult and awkward to pronounce. And another example is Arthur. Very difficult and awkward to pronounce. The other one is sight. Right? So without the word root, it's difficult. But if you put in a word, a, a combining vowel, rather, it becomes easier. And the way you put in a combining vowel is you use this diagonal line and then you put the combining vowel. Then we read this as gastro, right? And then we read this as athro, and then we read this as cyto. Right? So you can see that it becomes easier to, to pronounce. So the convention is that when using a combining vowel, you use this diagonal line, right? So the diagonal line and then the combining vowel, right? Diagonal line, combining vowel. So that's how you write your combining vowels. The fourth thing is when a combining vowel has been added to a word root, the combining vowel plus the word root becomes the combining form. So a word root, so a word root plus a combining vowel equals what we call a combining form. So all a combining form is, is a word root with a combining vowel. Okay, so this, this is a word root. And this is a word, it's a combining form. Okay, so the site is a word root, the cyto is a combining form. Okay, so in the next video, we will look at combining vowel rules. So we'll go through a few rules, about four of them, that help us to combine a, or to join a combining vowel to a word root.